A common question we get at the PCR is, where does pomegranate fit into prostate cancer treatment in 2019? Pomegranate was really popular about five, six years ago based on phase two trials uh, looking at PSA results in men who were using various preparations and juices and extracts of pomegranate. And there seemed to be an observation that the rate of PSA rise was slowing with pomegranate. And there was some basic research behind this to suggest why there might be anti-cancer efficacy with pomegranate. There was, however, a large phase three prospective randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial of pomegranate versus a sugar pill or whatever the placebo was made out of, showing that unfortunately, the rate of PSA slowing was the same in both groups. So a slowing of PSA rise in men with progressive prostate cancer is actually sort of a common occurrence with no treatment at all. So this PSA endpoint, the rate of PSA rise, as a way to judge treatment efficacy doesn't really cut the mustard. And sadly, of course, in that well-funded trial, expensive trial of pomegranate, it didn't perform any better than a, than a placebo. So as things stand right now, we're not advocating pomegranate for prostate cancer. As prostate cancer experts, we can't speak to its efficacy in other uses, but as it relates to prostate cancer, we're not seeing any benefit.